Okay, so it's product review time, and I have two packages here that have come from banggood.com. I'm going to review them in separate videos, but I'll show you both in both videos. So let's have a look at the first one. So the first one is a Kuwaiti USB tester. Let's have a little look at it. So this is a little widget that you plug in the USB port and then you plug devices in there and it will tell you a supply voltage and it will tell you how much current is being drawn. And it has two outputs there which is quite useful so I can use that for testing uh, if I'm charging two different devices from the same source. And so the reason this is going to become very useful is, I believe, because of what's in this second bag. So let's just open that up and have a look. Yes. This is a solar panel. Now this is a 5 watt solar panel and it's designed to clip onto a rucksack or onto a bag. It's slightly flexible, encapsulated in plastic, hard plastic. But we'll test that a bit later when it's a sunny day. So we'll get back to testing that in a subsequent video and we'll just give this little thing a run through first today. Now before we go any further I should disclose that these products were given to me free by Banggood. And so my review is a sponsored review. You can find links to the products in my video description and that will be an affiliate link. But I want you to know I try to keep my reviews objective. I think if you look at some of my other reviews that I've uploaded you'll know that I do value objectivity and honesty. So I'm not going to give this a good review just because I got it for free. I'm going to tell you what I really think. Anyway, without further ado, let's actually see what it does. So I've got here a USB power supply that has actually some 2 amp outputs and some 1 amp outputs. The 2 amp ones are the ones with the black dot. So I'm just going to plug that in to the 2 amp output and it's telling me that I've got 5.06 volts, which sounds about right. And then I'm going to find something to plug in and charge up. So let's plug in. That's interesting. I have a little, little bit of trouble plugging that USB cable into that socket. So just a little bit tight and not a particularly clean fit. So there we go. So I'm going to plug now my mobile phone in. And we'll put that on charge, and that's gone on to charge, and I can see that that is drawing 0.87 amps at 5 volts, and actually fluctuating probably because the screen's going on and off on the phone. So it's settled down to 0.41 amps at 5.05 volts. So let's just see what happens when we plug something else in there, in the other side. I think now we'll put my camera on charge, my little Nikon compact camera. Okay, so that's gone on to charge. Now I can see we're drawing 0.92 amps and we're still at 5.03 volts. So that's good, that, sound, that does sound entirely plausible. So there we go, that's a little current and voltage tester. Quite useful because it has these two outputs. So later on, in another video that's coming soon, we will use that current and voltage tester to see what we actually get out of this solar panel. So yes, the first time I plugged the USB plug into that socket, it was a bit rough and gritty feeling, but it's fine on subsequent plugs. It just must have been a bit of dust or something in there. So there we go. So I think that's all I can say about that. Relatively pleased with this product. It does what it says and it's actually quite a cheap little thing as well so you know if you need something that does this it's it's very low cost so there it is thanks for watching and i hope to see you again soon